us up, thanks for staying up this late. You know, when me and Purcell were 16, we used to dream of clubs like this. So whoever owns this club and the people who sit up the show, thanks very much. Actually, a youth of today started in a club like this called the Anthrax. That's where I met Purcell. We just freaking hung out one day. We started, uh, he was in a violent children. It was our first band. I know you got sick of those guys and said, let's start youth of today. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Freaking. This is a song, I felt like uh, what happened in 88 in the hardcore scene in New York City, it was sort of like, a scene within a scene because when we first started going to shows, we, I'm old, I used to go to shows in 1982 in New York. And I had to see these kids, right? Who's that? Who's that old? There was some, you were seven. Were you hanging out then or were you just seven? But it was sad because here's the deal this music is energetic, it's like electricity. And you can use electricity to burn things like you're in a like a dryer, right? Or you can have a refrigerator and cool things. So this energy isn't bad, it's not good. It's how you direct it. So that scene in 88, it took all that powerful hardcore energy and put it towards positive things. And that was the difference. This is dedicated to those bands back there and all the bands of Revelation back there. It's called Positive Outlook. <laughs>
was 15. Was it 15, 14, 15 or 14. I was, I wanted to break away from mainstream music. I didn't like the music that was going on in my high school at the time. And uh, so I had older brothers that lived in New York City and I grew up in Connecticut. So I got on the subway, go on the, or the train, Metro North, and I'd go to CBGB's and the Mud Club and all these old clubs back then. It worked out pretty cool. Well, the first band I saw was Bow Wow. Ever? That's it. I liked them. To me, I didn't really know much about music. I had no music guru telling me what's cool and what's not cool. I had to just figure it out. Then, the next day I saw the UK Subs and the Young and the Useless. So I'll say that the Young and the Useless were the guys from the Beastie Boys when they were little. Now, if anyone ever saw them, none of those guys could play their instruments. But I thought... These guys, they're my age, man. I don't know, like 14 or something. But they're on stage, and they're just playing from their heart. And immediately my appreciation for hardcore and punk grew that day. It has nothing to do with that talent. Because I'll tell you as you know today, we were not the most talented. And I'm not the best singer. I never had singing lessons. Matter of fact, I'm famous for screaming more than singing. Sometimes people say, what did you do when you were little? I said, I was a singer in a band. They say, oh, really? You can sing? I'm, no, I can't. But you know what I loved about the hardcore scene? It wasn't from the here, it wasn't from here, but it was from here. Made all the difference. This one's gonna make a change. <laughs>